If you're watching this video, you have probably watched the first part, where I have explained the first three techniques to make sense of customer feedback. If you didn't, you will find the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it yet. But let's get back to our list now. Hello everyone, I am Riccardo Osti and on a daily basis I help the world's best brands become more successful by investing in the consumer experience. The next topic I need to talk about is understand what customers like and dislike about your product. Running in the same vein, text mining also allows you to uncover what your customers like and dislike about your product. You'll likely find some conflicting information here. Consumer a might state that they like the feature A, but consumer B may assert that the feature A is useless and don't do much for them. Bearing this in mind, look at what the data says as well, instead of getting swayed by outliers and anomalies. If you have more data, such as data on your customer's lifetime value, and you'll have it by hand, think about analyzing your text in conjunction with additional data. You might find that the majority of consumers who don't like feature A tend to have a low lifetime value and won't stick around long, and that too, your customers who make repeated purchases have no issue with feature A. If that's the case, there is obviously no need to tweak your product to satisfy your one-off customers. That was just an example. Another key point is understand how your customers use your product. You can discover surprising insights about how your customers use your product via text mining and text analysis. For example, if you sell a travel kettle and you find that several of your customers are talking about how they've used their kettle to cook pasta while they were on the road, then you've just discovered a whole new case for your product. Depending on your overall strategy, you might decide to play up and use this case and actually showcase it as an additional feature, uh, cooking on the road. Lastly, but still importantly, you should narrow it on safety issues and other concerns. Consumer Insights team can also rely on text mining to flag out safety issues and other concerns that are important for the company to note. For instance, if teams conduct a text analysis and find out that many customers are talking about how their product was dangerous to use or malfunctioned in some way, then it'd be a wise move for the company to do some investigation and find out if there were problems that arose in manufacturing, for instance. If that's the case, the company might then do a product recall and compensate their customers. This may not be an ideal situation, but it's still preferable to dealing with uh, scathing reputation, tarnishing reviews on social media, or worse, having a customer take you to court. We don't want that. Once again, I really hope you like this video. If so, please subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button. All the best and see you soon.